Good evening, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you all having a, a great and a blessed Sunday today. God bless all of you. I love Sundays. They are the best. Of course, you know I love some my Sundays. Now, what I'm going to show you real quick is I'm going to show you Marco coming in. I'm going to let you see the impacts of Marco coming in. And then I'm going to show you Laura. And then I'm going to show you what else I found. All right, this is 50 miles an hour winds. This 10 meter winds that you're looking at is the sustained winds. And so far for the update on the impact on this one, this is where we have a Marco coming in. Uh, the pink is in the 20s. The white is going into the 30s. And when you get to the bright white, uh, it's and, and it gets real dark towards that edge of that, that orange right there. It's in the 40s. Uh, the red is in the 50s to the 60s as far as damage and winds, uh, 10 meters up above sea level. So this is, I have it going straight for Mobile, Alabama. That's the, the center of the storm. Looks like it's headed towards. Uh, but as you can see, it, it is getting a little, a little curve, a little hook right here. And all this information is subject to change because as soon as it gets out of the, the mountains and gets away from Cuba, then we'll know exactly uh, where this, these storms are going to be going and exactly what the impacts will be. Now, after you have Marco, you have Laura coming through. And after it passes the keys, it starts strengthening. And that's the strongest point I have of Laura so far right there. Now, the speed I have is 96 so far, 97. And that is uh, that's 10 meter winds once again. But if you watch, if you remember from my last two videos, that green spark that we've been having has been the, the impact of, of the rapid intensification that's been going on with this video. Uh, let, let, me, let me back it up one more just so you can see exactly what's going on with it. Because it still has the color, uh, but as far as the miles per hour, it's still right at 100 or barely over 100. Uh, and then it, when it comes to an impact, it does keep hurricane strength uh, levels sorry it, it does keep hurricane strength levels of impact winds as it goes over louisiana and then when it gets into southern uh sorry northern louisiana it acts like it breathes again uh, some strength and it, and it turns uh, hurricane strength again so we have to see exactly what's going on with this if that green is going to come back and stay longer if it's going mild down uh, me personally, I'm hoping that this definitely mild, mild down. Uh, now, so you see your colors, just so you know, because this is a lot of area. The, the bright white is getting to the 40s, the 50s for the orange to the red, 70s and 80s into the yellow, and the darker the color, the higher the number. Here it is up here on top. So it is, it is a pretty big area. And then I also show after this one, you're going to see that we have, uh, I'm showing tropical depression. Nana, but at the same time, it could easily, since it's so far away, get strength into a tropical storm. Uh, but as far as anything above that, I can't tell if it's going to grow into any other worry. It's, it's just so far away. But I do show the cell does does form up and it does spin with great power, uh, trying to form up quickly. So we can see if it goes further into the Gulf and gets more strength or not. Uh, but as for right now, we really can only see what we can see, right? So if you look over here on the western of the Gulf, towards Texas, you see Marco just went by. That's Marco. You'll see Laura. Laura's going by right there. But at the same time, a cell forms, a low pressure forms from everything that's brewing down here below Mexico because they have a lot of activity going to the west. So at the same time, Something pushes off of there, and you can see it real good with the precipitation. Uh, but something pushes off of there right there, and it gets a full center, and it tries to get localized. Uh, as it goes, it, it does spark up two intense powers before it goes over land and disappears. Uh, these two intense powers, uh, the first one is 37 miles per hour damaging winds. And the second one, as it gets stronger, is 38.6 miles per hour winds. And that right there is close to uh, tropical storm strength. Uh, tropical depression is, would be 39, uh, but it wouldn't take long for that to get to 39 if it's already at 38 uh, that far, that long away. At the same time, it could also uh, diminish 
and go into the into the western uh, of Mexico and slip over there in the Pacific and leave. So we just got to keep our eye on it and make sure that we'll be okay from that. That's that's the main goal. But here's the part where they go. Mobile. And then the impact uh, spot is still showing towards Lafayette. Lafayette Lake Charles, it just loves that part. And then the possibility of Nana comes in and boom, towards Houston. So we will see what, what, what comes of that, but I guarantee you, we got to keep an eye, our eye on that. Now I want to show you what you have in now, and I want to show you Marco coming into the, the Gulf, and I want to show you Laura coming into the Gulf. Uh, it's, it's a lot of severe storms coming with this, a lot of bands, and it, it needs to be shown to you real quick, because this, this needs to be updated probably every six hours. Uh, because we want to know exactly where these bands are going to be. Because uh, this is going to be a lot of destruction, a lot of flooding. And it's going to cause power outages. It, the land's already soaked from uh, Marco coming by. So it's definitely uh, going to be a rough time for a lot of people. So God bless all of you involved in this. I have something real short I want to say before we push forward and watch this. Revelations 1. A revelation by Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his slaves the things that must shortly take place. And he sent forth his angel and presented it in signs through him to his slave, John, who bore, who bore witness to the word God gave and to the witness Jesus Christ gave, even to all the things he saw. Happy is he who reads aloud. And those who hear the words of this prophecy and who observe the things written in it for the appointed time is near. John to the seven congregations that are in the district of Asia. May you have undeserved kindness and peace from the one who is and who was and who is coming. And from the seven spirits that are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him that loves us and that loosed us from our sins by means of his own blood, and he made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God and Father. Yes, to him be the glory and the might forever. Amen. Look, he is coming with, with the clouds, and every eye will see him. And those who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will, will beat themselves in grief because of him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says Jehovah God, the one who is and who was and who is coming, the Almighty. God bless. Amen. So we all should, should welcome God and Jesus in our lives because I tell you, that's the only way you can truly be happy because things are going to happen every day to us regardless. Now, it's still loading, but we can see some of it. And as you can see, we're going to have Marco coming in for New Orleans. And right behind it uh, is, is Laura. So that's, that's a lot of severe storms. At the same time, we got the trough right here with the jet stream. That's going to be pulling it that way, which is later predicted uh, to loosen up on their tightness a little bit. And it'll go a little bit to the northeast on the way out. Now, here we are. We're on 50. As soon as it gets on 60, we're going to take a look at what we got. I can tell you already, I'm looking at a lot of hail cores right here. A lot of hail cores. And, th and this is right where we don't want to go. 55. Give it a second, or you can click forward about 20 seconds. <laughs> but I, I, I truly hope that y'all will be okay through this, because this seems like a lot of issues i mean immediately in, in into the august so it's it's not good guys it's we never had to two we never had a, one big one already in this name of where we at now right we're already uh into laura and marco okay now it is finished now and as you finish seeing it's going to be an ex a lot of severe storms on the coast of the gulf and and then when marco comes on in Boom. All right, they got a few rain bands that will be hitting. 
some rain bands will come by on South Florida over here as Laura passes by. So be aware of those. That is a nasty hail core right there in the center. Going, let's see how big that is because that looks huge to me. Lafayette, right to the west of you, the storm started getting pretty severe. So y'all be very uh, minded of that. Now as Laura comes through the Gulf, from what we can see so far, you see Marco's still going up there twisting and, and it looks like some flash flooding will be happening over there. Uh, let's see if we can get some Nana clicks. There's the bands coming out from Laura. And we can't see any, any clicks from Nana on the 60 days here yet because that was further uh, than these two. But this is only a 60 hour run. That's what I'm showing so far for Laura, guys. So God bless all of you. Tell me what you think in the comments about that pressure. Do you think it's going to raise up to something, to a tropical storm, or do you think it's possible it can go into the Pacific? Uh, that, that's what I'm hoping on since it's still so far away. God bless. Y'all have, have a great Sunday.